Hey everybody, I have recorded uh, a uh, speedrun of Super Smash Brothers for Pikachu in the 5 stock very easy category. While it's not a world record, it is my personal best and I beat my previous personal best by like 0.13 seconds or something similar. So why not put up and make a video about it? Now here's some stuff you already know. Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64 was released in 1999 on January 21st in Japan and April 26th for North America. And as of December 2014, has sold 5.55 million copies. This game has gotten positive reviews, with GameSpot giving it a 7.5 out of 10 and IGN giving it an 8.5 out of 10, with Nintendo Power giving it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Nintendo has since re-released Smash on the Wii Virtual Console in 2009 for its 10th anniversary. Now here's some stuff you probably didn't know. The original 8 characters order in the selection screen are ordered by their chronological appearance order. Mario in 1981, Donkey Kong as well in 1981, Link in 1986, Samus in 1986, Yoshi in 1990, Kirby in 1992, Fox in 1993, and finally Pikachu in 1996. Also, assuming Ninten from Mother and Ness from Mother 2 slash Earthbound are not the same person, the hidden characters order follows the same suit when you exclude the original 8. First it's Luigi in 1983, Captain Falcon from 1990, Ness in 1994, and finally Jigglypuff in 1996. Now, according to speedrun.com, for completing single player mode, Pikachu holds the world record for most characters Luigi, Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Naz, Kirby, and Jigglypuff. He also holds the record for unlocking all four characters in 25 minutes and 48 seconds. The complete list is at speedrun.com, links are in the description below. You can also check out his twitch.tv. And with almost 10 million views, the most viewed video that appears when searching on YouTube for Super Smash Bros. 64 is PewDiePie's video titled, Most Awkward Gameplay Super Smash Bros. with 9.6 million views, links also in the description. Now here's some stuff that's not true. Masahiro Sakurai, who was the director of the game, almost cancelled the game. He was about to make a phone call to start the process of shutting down the project, but when a blackout struck as he was dialing, he felt it a sign to keep the project going forward. Due to a manufacturing error, some cartridges from the first shipments got stuck in Nintendo 64 consoles. Over 1,000 cases were reported to Nintendo. While the game still played fine, the cartridges were unable to be removed from consoles. In reference to this, when playing on the virtual console, if you hold A and B while also holding up, then pressing plus plus minus plus, you will not be able to exit the game unless you unplug your console. Still in the code of the game, there is evidence that after the Master Hand fight, a second boss fight would reveal a giant Mario controlling Master Hand along with Crazy Hand. It is still possible to activate this fight but it will require a game shark or action replay. That's it for that! And according to some research, Super Smash Bros. 64 is currently available on the Wii Shop channel for 1,000 points. That's 10 bucks. You can also try and find a cartridge online and on Amazon. I've seen some for 62 bucks, but I didn't really dig too far into it. 